Okay, so maybe my memory of that day is a little off. Severe emotional trauma will do that. But did I really say all that stuff about her grandmother? Yep. You had some serious rage issues back then. Did you also forget that's how you got your nickname because you were always seeing red? No, I remember. And then Brooklyn tacked on the hot head part. <laughs> Gotta give her credit for that. You know, the rhyming definitely made it catchier. Hot head red, hot head red, hot head red. Okay, okay, we get it. Have you figured out that's safe yet? <sighs> no, but I'm pretty sure I use the same combination I've always used for everything, which is... Got it! Finally! Was never in doubt. I'm sorry you were locked in there all alone for so long. Mommy won't ever let that happen again. There's something seriously wrong with you. You're just jealous. We should get going. We can't be late. Hey, we got a message from President Johnson. Do you think you impressed the most electrifying president in United States history with all your career achievements? Actually, you do. All the best on your big day, I'll be watching from the People's White House. That's cool. <laughs> but I, I voted for Kane. I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's going to rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. No way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's damp. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Hey, pull that match up on your phone if you don't mind. I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both men admitted they didn't have a lot of experience in Falls Count Anywhere matches. Taking that into consideration, Trey did tell me he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of Falls Count Anywhere matches on WWE 2K. Yeah, because nothing will prepare you for one of the most brutal matches of your career, quite like sitting on a couch playing video games all day and night. What an idiot. One step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Saw that one coming. Beautiful suplex. Oh, stomping away. Ooh, what impact. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Nothing is going to stop him now.
harsh impact. Corey, what can a superstar do if they find themselves playing defense in this match? You gotta find a way to create separation and buy yourself some time. Collect yourself. Otherwise, the beatings will continue. It's a battlefield out there, and you have to navigate around the landmines. Under Pele kick, nicely done. Down to the floor. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Plenty of fight left. Very nice. Lightning fast reflexes. Launched with a belly to belly. Bringing it back into the ring. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. Go! Oh, no! Wow, what a lariat. Almost took his head off. Point. I don't think his opponent was expecting that. There he goes, crashing to the floor. German suplex, but that's not all. <laughs> Hoping to end it early. Plenty of fight left. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. He just cannot be caught.
Up across the shoulders. What's next? Ah, uh, setting him up for the... AJ Styles into the cover. Able to catch him off guard there, I guess. That would have been a shocker. Had it scouted. Drop it. It hits the mark. The volume in this building has increased exponentially. The fans are willing these competitors to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. Oh, here come the strikes from Styles. His shoulders are down. Two. He kicked out. Oh my God, he kicked out. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. He's calling for it. Up. AJ Styles made him pay there. Big time. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we begin, Michael. Stomping, ouch! Look at this raw power. Really taking it to his core here. At this point, it may be a week before he stands upright again. AJ Styles moved out of the way there. Well, AJ Styles is trying to get in his opponent's head right here. Slight right shot up. right across the back of the neck. Ouch. For the first time tonight, AJ stop. Look at this. Yes way. Styles uncorks us. AJ Styles makes the cover. Gets and again, he refuses to stay down. That's too early for that. Look at this raw power. And sit up, power bomb. What a reversal by AJ Styles. Styles is always thinking. AJ Styles able to avoid damage there. Such a technician. Nice amateur continuing to punish the core here. This has clearly been part of the game plan all along. There it is, it's locked in. Smart maneuver. Look at Styles, he's trying to hold on. Whoa, Corey, he just let him out. Cole, to be honest, I am baffled right now. There is no good reason why he would let him out at this point in the match. Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow, part of me thought that was it, Cole. Got the cross face applied. AJ Styles is in trouble. And Styles now is... Must have something different in mind here, Corey. Well, it better be good because it looked like he had him ready to tap. I am feeling a tight trying to go for it again. TKO. AJ's in. Here's a cover. Could be it. Two. And he got a near fall out of it. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. They get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. There it is. Did you hear that crack? He's certainly looking in command at the moment. It is all going his way right about now. Saw what he had in mind there. Oh, right up there. Wow, what a sequence. Oh, the reverse. AJ Styles rolls through. Cat Crusher. 
This is absolutely agonizing. Will Styles' opponent hang on? His opponent's got nowhere to go. It's just a matter of time here. Well, you can't win an elbow. What a counter! Look at this in your face. AJ Styles moving out of the way there. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Wax him with the kendo stick. I don't think he's done yet, Cole. Great evasion. Oh, and he lands it. Really relying on that tonight. Across the top rope. Stun gun. Keep him down. Wow. What a punch. Up across the shoulders. What's next? TKO. Amazing. And this has got to be it. One, two, three. He's done it. He's done it. I can't believe it. He's done it. Let's watch again how AJ Styles was toppled tonight. Here is your winner, Troy. He earned every bit of that victory here tonight. I'm not impressed at all by AJ Styles' effort tonight. Well, I mean, he tried. And as we expected, WWE Extreme Rules has been a brutal evening. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That's right, now I remember. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalya. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalya is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Big reversal. Wow, she turned that one around. Oof. Suplex! Wow, what impact! Hoist it up! Suplex! Suplex. 
She steers clear there. And scissors oh, take down. Oh, oh. Very nice. Dazzling move right there. Natalia is a superstar who knows how to go the distance, weather the storm, and tough it out. She isn't someone to overlook. No one's saying Natalia's being overlooked, but she can sometimes get caught up in playing to the WWE Universe. All it takes is one taunt too many, and her opponent can get the advantage over her. Natalia may be a veteran, but once her strategy flies out the window, she scrambles. Oh, look at that scoop slam! Look at this. I don't think she's getting up from that one. Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's... Interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with or without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. You can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call, there was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. Hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver! Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. I know. 
Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. Alright, time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? Okay, fine, be a grump. But let me know if you want to play later. <sighs> this is it. The home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's gonna have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <sighs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello. Uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? I'm not sure I'm using that correctly. Is Brett home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Brett! Two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's... housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So Brett's not home? No. And he hasn't been for years! The hearts don't live here anymore. But you said... This kind of thing happens like once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. And I gave myself severe stomach issues. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Next time, do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez. So much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But hey, we came all the way here. We should at least get a picture. Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face. 
Probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> it wasn't our finest moment. <laughs> but since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who, at least according to him, trained with the Hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Hmm.
Get your feet up on the turnbuckle. Push off and roll backwards. You can pin him like that. Ah. It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time, all right? You good? Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey! What was that for? For playing to an imaginary crowd. It cost you the match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? That's not torture if you're paying for it. Now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we gonna face? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. Bottom line, you're too focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Oh, yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. I know. Uh, speaking of cheering her on, since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omley. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. Carl Botch, on account of all the moves you botch? <laughs> I like that one. How about I pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr.? Oh, that ain't happening. Do you have any other nicknames? Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T-R-E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Great. Then Trey it is. Thanks a lot. No problem, Trey. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. <laughs> 